So, Manto Patu Maro Resler Naru, Giovanni Vinci. So, how are you, Vinci? Hello, Welcome doing? to Hyderabad. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. How, do you, how do you feel about Hyderabad? Very good, actually. Uh, I didn't get to see a lot so far because we landed very early and uh, we drove here through the night. But it's daylight now, so I'm looking forward when we go to the venue to see everything in daylight because uh, it's my first time in India and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's all like in person. What's your thoughts about India's potential of uh, WWE? Well, they have a lot of potential. I mean, there's three, four guys standing over there. They have Indus Sheer, they got Jinder. So um, there's obviously a lot of potential, but uh, like it is for everybody else in this business, it takes hard work, dedication over a long time, over years and years and years. And they're doing the job right. And uh, I'm looking forward to the future for India because I think there's a lot more to come. Do you get intimidated when you face, you know, a person with seven feet? How do you feel about it? I mean, you obviously have a healthy amount of respect for it, but I don't think you can feel intimidated. In the ring, in the ring, when you face him. Yeah, I don't think you can be intimidated. Like, obviously, you have a healthy respect for it. Uh, I always think you should never underestimate an opponent, so it's easy not to do that with somebody seven feet tall. But at the end of the day, you just got to do uh, what you do, get in the ring, give it all you got, and then the outcome is going to be what it is. We have been grown up watching WWE. So what, who was your inspiration in the ring I mean, when, when you were a kid? Yeah, so uh, I always have an answer. I can't decide who's my absolute number one, but it's always between Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. Those two are like, even the matches that they had at WrestleMania 21 and then at Vengeance later that year, it's just, in my opinion, as good as it gets. They covered everything from whatever, whatever you want to see in a match, they did it to perfection. Uh, what kind of message you want to give to the youth who want to get, come to WWE or you know uh, about fitness whatever it is like you know to get yeah, healthy yeah. fit I think nowadays um, it's much easier to get educated on the internet about healthy nutrition and stuff but uh, I think in general today's generation are much more health conscious so they work out more they eat healthier in general and all you have to do is like I said before you just have to do it consistent with a lot of effort every single day over years and then you'll get the reward eventually. So what do you want to uh, tell about suppl supplements and uh, you know whey protein and all? Mm -hmm. What do you want to say? I mean there's there's a ton of stuff out there. I still believe there's nothing better than real food. So if you stick to a healthy diet, you know what I mean? Like it's it's not rocket science. Everybody knows what's healthy and what isn't. So if you just stick to what is healthy, what makes you feel good, then you'll be fine. What's your uh, you know greatest favorite food of protein? Protein. Um, I eat a lot of chicken. I eat a lot of chicken. Uh, I like eggs, fish, just the typical stuff. See, all the things that I'm telling you, you heard it a million times before. The only reason, the only difference is you have to do it every single day. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.